For security and risk management leaders like you, staying current on cybersecurity trends and best practices is critical to managing the evolving threats and exposures that your organisation can face. Along with mainstream explosions of generative AI and other emerging technologies, security and risk management leaders are dealing with multiple security pressures, including the gaps between talent supply and demand, the growth in cloud adoption, increasing regulatory obligations, and the decentralization of digital capabilities across your enterprise. The Gartner Top Trends in Cybersecurity for 2024 found that successful security and risk management leaders are focusing on nine practices to achieve two key goals to improve their organizational resilience as digital systems evolve, and optimizing cybersecurity performance by harnessing new technologies and programs. Today, we'll talk about four of the Gartner top security trends for 2024. Cybersecurity leaders know that it's not if an attack will happen, but when. Factors like hybrid work, digital ecosystem sprawl, and an evolving threat environment are requiring organisations to improve the resilience to security incidents. And our first two featured trends focus on those elements specifically. By 2026, organisations prioritising security investments with a continuous threat exposure management program will realise two thirds reductions in the number of breaches that they experience. But what's driving this trend? Well, it's the increase of digital attack surfaces are leaving organisations far more vulnerable. So instead of focusing on patching and securing physical and self-managed software systems, security and risk management leaders are now needing to focus on sustainable, risk-focused practices with threat exposure management while creating effective channels to respond to those issues. So get started with these three steps. Firstly, align your scope with business objectives. Secondly, use validation tools and thirdly, engage responding departments proactively. Very few organisations operate in a complete bubble. Third-party suppliers and partners are an increasing element of your enterprise's technology and business operations footprint. But sooner or later, they may also experience cybersecurity incidents that expose your business to risk like disruptions to your operations or a breach of your sensitive data. In fact, 45% of respondents to Gartner surveys have said that third-party cybersecurity incidents had increased compared with two years ago. Unfortunately, conducting heavy, often time-consuming due diligence activities before signing contracts, which is a very common practice, is not always helpful and in no way guarantees that you'll be free of third-party risks from those partners. So adopting a more resilience-driven, resource-efficient approach has proven to be far more effective. So take these three steps to get started. Firstly, build contingency plans for your higher risk partners. Secondly, make due diligence far more efficient. And thirdly, help your third parties help you. Developing resilience against evolving threats is critical, but security leaders are also under pressure to improve the security program's performance without constraining the business from achieving its strategic objectives. So today we're highlighting two trends that are helping you meet your cybersecurity and business needs while effectively still managing cybersecurity risk. We predict through 2025 that generative AI will create a spike in the cybersecurity resources required to secure it. And we expect that this will cause a 15% incremental spend on application and data security. Generative AI applications can be transformative to your business, but they also pose new security risks and imperatives, from an increase in your attack surface and privacy issues, to the need to adapt security processes and requirements as access becomes broader across your organisation. So proactive collaboration with your business stakeholders is important here. To get started, take these four steps. Firstly, track your AI consumption. You need to update your provider requirements. Thirdly, confirm that your security requirements and controls are up to date. And fourthly, test before you integrate. The way enterprises are using technology is changing and our last featured trend underpins that. 
67% of senior business executives responding to a recent Gartner survey expressed a desire to have more technology work done within business functions. That push, coupled with remote and more hybrid work situations, continuation of digital transformation and cloud migration means the delivery of technology is moving away from central IT functions and out to different lines of business. So security and risk management leaders need to evolve their cybersecurity operating models by empowering business stakeholders with the knowledge and processes to locally govern their own resources. And here's how to get started. Firstly, establish a cybersecurity governance and steering committee. Standardize your processes, but stay flexible. And finally, align with the business. There is no doubt that security and risk management leaders are facing disruptions on multiple fronts. And Gardner helps them stay on top of how to best protect their organizations. So a great way to put yourself in the best position to do this for your organization and stay ahead of new cybersecurity trends is by connecting with experts and your peers at our in-person summits across the world. We look forward to seeing you there.